All right, everyone, let's see what our Catholic friends are up to on this Thursday, September 20th, 2012. What's going on in Rome? The Vatican. Saints, dried blood liquefies and repeat of miracle. That's the headline, and we'll put the link below in the show more section. What is it with the Vatican and the Pope uh, keeping the blood of uh, archbishops and priests and popes that have passed on. Why do they keep the blood? Here we go. Are you ready? And they're calling this a miracle. They're calling this a miracle. The dried blood of the Roman Catholic patron saint of Naples mysteriously turned to liquid Wednesday in a repeat of what uh, residents consider a miracle. And a good omen. I don't know about a good omen. It's an omen. But I'm not sure if we should call that a miracle. Uh, the local church said. A small crowd at the cathedral in the southern Italian city cheered. They cheered at the announcement that this dead uh, patron saint, his blood that they kept. Why are they keeping the blood? That it turned to liquid. It liquefied. And they're calling this a miracle. Um... When City Archbishop uh, Seppe brought out a small uh, reliquary with the two vials of San uh, Gennaro's blood, uh, they cheered when the blood that was dried turned liquid, and they're calling this, the Catholics are calling this a miracle. I think it's an omen. I think it's um, some kind of a, a dark ritual. Why do they keep the blood of uh, popes and uh, priests that have passed on. So this uh, patron saint, uh, his dried blood uh, liquefies. I don't know, everyone. Leave me your comments on this one.